What is up, YouTube fam, and welcome back to the channel. It is your girl, Gabrielle, also known as Gabby, and I am back today with another cash stuffing video. Guys, today we're going to be breaking down paycheck four as well as stuffing our cash variable envelopes for the fourth week of April. I'm super excited to get started, guys, get these envelopes stuffed. I'm really almost like ready to be done with April, guys, because we are running low on cash. Anyways, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. I'm so excited to have you. If you have not already considered subscribing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. I would love to have you here in my community. And if you are coming back, thank you so much for continuing to support me. So guys, right before we hop into this video, I wanted to put out a little announcement. Guys, I am coming up on my one year here on YouTube. I'm super excited to still be here to be at this point with you know over a thousand subscribers i'm monetized i'm just super excited so in celebration of this milestone that i have reached i wanted to do a q a so i'm going to be putting out a q a video soon i wanted you guys to go ahead and leave me a question in the comments it does not have to be budgeting related but i'm pretty open so i would like to share that with you guys so yeah leave me a comment down below your question for my q a video that i'm coming up with and if i don't get enough questions i'll probably just pull in some of those budgeting community tags that i've seen so those are those are fun as well without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video guys this is paycheck four we did just get paid today i'm super excited <laughs> can you not tell and um, this paycheck was actually a little bit more than we had budgeted for. So that was awesome as well. And let's go ahead and get into it. So why did I put paycheck one there? So we're just going to change that into a four. So our paycheck amount is going to be $2,086 for this paycheck. And we have a few bills. Like I said, normally most of our bills come out at the end of the month. Um, not the big ones, but... They're like more, it's more bill healthy. So we do have our electric and gas and we budget $200 for that every month. I already seen that bill and it's quite not that much. It's about $50 less, so that's awesome. That is a little bit more money back into our budget. We have our water and sewer bill, which we um, contribute 122 for both of those bills. And then our phone bill is 210. That comes out very end of the month as well, as well as our security, which is $50 and comes out towards the end. Next, we have their, one of our biggest payments of the month, and that is our debt snowball payment, and that's going to come out to $1,099 for this paycheck that we're putting towards that debt snowball, which is currently going towards our student loan, guys. We are really getting close to having that paid completely off, and I'm super excited about that. And the rest, guys, is going to be $407, which is going to our cash envelope, so I'm going to give you a breakdown to that once we get into the cash stuffing. So that all equals out to $2,086. And that is how I budget my paychecks all the way down to zero. So that is awesome. So that is it. Let's go ahead and get set up for this cash stuffing, guys. All right, guys, I am back and ready to attack. I have my cash here. I have my cash envelopes ready, guys. We really don't have much money left in our cash envelopes at all. I'm a little afraid that we might be a little bit over budget this month, but... Neither here nor there. So guys, we should have $407 right here. So let's go ahead and count and see. 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 330, 350, 370, 380, 390, 395, 400, 405, 406, 407. So we do have our correct amount. Let's go ahead and get this money in our cash drawer. All right, let me make sure you guys are in frame. Yes, and you can see everything well. I can actually stand to so you guys can see a little bit more of the money. So for groceries, guys, we're gonna get one, 200, $200 for groceries. So I'm gonna take 100, um, probably 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, um, 90, 95 200 yes so let's count it again 100 120 140 160 180 190 195 200 so 200 is going in groceries guys and we need every last bit of this 200 because we have been spending on some groceries but guys luckily though we have been not eating out as much so next we're going to go to eating out which 
should be getting $75. We do have a little money left in eating out. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have $8 and we're going to put $75 into eating out today. So we're going to take a 50, a 20, and a five because that's 70. Yep, 75, 50, 75. Let's add these, this $8 there and be good to go. So we have 50, 70, 75, 80, 86, 87, and 88. So we have $88 left in eating out for the month of April, which I think we can do. I think we can do good on eating out, but groceries, not sure. Spending, guys, my husband is going to get $30 for his spending money. You guys know I do all of my spending, you know, personal money online because I normally buy stuff from my Etsy kits and all that good stuff online. So spending is going to get 20 and a 10 so that's $30, and I'm just really just going to give that to my husband. I could put it off to the side, but I like to stuff my envelope. So there we are. Next is Beauty. Guys, Beauty is getting nothing today, but we do have a little money in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, four dollars. We'll probably just roll this over into May, and that will be that. Last but not least is our savings challenge. And we have quite a bit of money in here. I think we have 1600 and no, 1500 I think, and some odd dollars, guys. But we're going to count just to make sure as well. And then we're going to add 102 to our savings challenge today. So let's count our savings challenge. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, 1,550, 1,560, 1,565, and 66. So 1,566 is what we have. And I did take some of these denominations down, guys, because I had, I had like a lot of ones in here and I traded those out with some bigger bills. So now we're gonna be adding $102, and that's what we have left, and that is going to finish off our savings challenge, which if you didn't know, I'm doing a 52-week challenge, and I'm trying to get to $5,000 by the end of the year for my savings challenge. So we're doing pretty good, we're right on track. Um, I'm afraid next month we may not save as much, because my budget has been really tight lately and I'm not feeling like good about it. So I'm thinking of changing it. Let me guys, let me guys know. Let me know if you guys also change your budget from time to time. Let me know. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,500, 1,600, 1,650, and 60, and 65, 66, 67, and 68. So we have $1,668 in our savings challenge. That is awesome. So that is it for our main envelopes. Now I am going to switch a little bit over and stuff my... Personal, um, you know, the ones I put in my wallet, I'm going to stuff those with our money. So um, I'm going to start with groceries and groceries is going, I've been trying to stick with spending 150 guys, but I've kind of been over on that. So I think I'm just going to take, this is 180. Yeah, I think I'm going to take one, 180 to the store. So 120, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. So I'm going to take that and leave that 20 for any, you know, thing, things we may forget because um, I've not been doing the best with inventory. So we, like last week, like my husband did have to stop. And then sometimes I completely walk out of the store and just forget to get something. So, you know, during the week, my husband may have to stop. That is that. And then eating out, guys, I'm just going to take the 20. No, it's not 20. Yeah, 20. I'll probably take 30. I'll take 30, 25, $30 for that and leave the 50 for the weekend because we do like to splurge on the weekends. But we've actually been doing really good on eating out, guys. Like, 
I haven't been eating out as much, which is great. So 30 is going in our eating out envelope. And we are ready to finish out the week. Um, we do get paid like midweek next week. It's kind of odd with the April ending on next Friday. So we, we should get paid. My husband should get paid early. So you may see a early cash stuffing from me, like maybe next Wednesday or Thursday for our May 1st paycheck stuffing because we get paid a little bit early. Neither here nor there. But that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. I'm so excited. If you're still here with me, leave me the two hearts in the comment again. And don't forget to leave me a message, um, a question for my Q&A video, because I'm going to compile those all from this video whenever I get ready to film my one year anniversary on YouTube Q&A video, guys. So that is pretty much all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> Bye, guys.